With the first half of the Consolation Cup already behind us, we're ready to start the, the second half. And we're starting this off with a test of teamwork. Hello everyone and welcome to the JBL Consolation Cup Season 1, Event 5, The Synchronized Racing. Once again, the scores will be determined by the marbles that finish third, plus the distance between him and the first marble to make it all the way to the end, and plus two second penalty for every marble getting stuck. By that I mean just if one marble gets stuck. The lowest time total will win gold, starting off with the laser beams. First three already to the end, fourth one makes his way, makes it over as well. For a time for a total score of 1397. Now I mentioned that if more than one marble gets stuck, they will have a different score because by this point you can't give them a score and that will require a non-finish score or a disqualification if you win. Next up, the wolves get one stuck. They do manage to free another so they will have a score, but this is very slow. And that is a 2867, far below any score we've seen, including the JBL Cup. Icicle Incredibles, up next. They are also struggling so far in this season, alongside the bottom two teams which we have seen before. One of them makes it all the way to the end, two are stuck, but what a final push by the fourth marble. Freeing both himself and another one to give him a score of 23-72. This is pretty much the job of the fourth marble. It's to scout out the field and see if he can free his other teammates and get a score better for his team. First marble through for speeding trains can also get stuck as is number two. The third marble gets through. What does the fourth one have? Oh, he's also stuck. And that means... The speeding trains will not have a score. This is a disqualification with three DNFs out of four. I have the desert up next. Speeding trains. Finding no momentum here in the Consolation Cup. I have the desert already having one finisher, having a second one now. Third one slow around the course, as is the fourth. But they all make it. And that is the 25-13. Provisionally... In third, as we're ready with the Executioners. Decent first event, but not much since, just like I have the Desert. What do they have for us this time? One of them already finished, the second, a third already done. Oh, that was very quick. Fourth one also makes it all the way, and that is a 13-44, putting them in the lead. But we still have 10 teams to go. Will they stand as Streaming Serpents, ready to roll down? Through the first funnel, one makes it all the way to the end, but the other three, slow, slow around. One of them getting stuck and being freed by the fourth marble, as we mentioned before, that is his job. But at 25.50, not a good score. As up next, to finish the first half, Cherry Clouds, rolling down. Still looking for a first medal for the season. They've been pretty good, very consistent, but still yet to podium. Will they do it today? Well, let's see. All of them make it all the way, and it is a 17-49, provisionally third. Biting in Napweed, another team that since the first event hasn't really done much. A silver medal back then, and the first marble gets stuck but freed by the second. This could actually be working in their favor because remember, it's the distance between the first and third finisher. So if the first one gets stuck and freed later on, it's actually a positive for the team. And the 20.11 may just show that it is. As up next, Furious Fireworks. Rolling down. Will they have a good score for us today? Two already free, free already. On to the end, the fourth one also makes it through. Good times all around, and what will the score be? 14.96, putting them in third. They might go for a medal. As last event's gold medalists, the high ballers are up next. First two, shooting forward, but the remaining two taking their time, and this may cost them. Final one has to finish, and it will. But what is the final score? 18.01.
phenomenal time by the first two, but the others not as fast as Banana Blasters. Up next, also freeing one very quickly, but he has to slow down and doesn't. Second one also makes it through, that is good for them. At the very least, we will have a second finisher quickly. As the other two make it as well, they help each other move forward, and that is a 23.50. Next, Zooming Zebras, another team that has a gold medal, as we continue the streak of gold medalists. First two, free very quickly. Third one also on its way, very quick finish, this could be another medal. Will this be a gold? It will not be gold, but it could be a bronze. 14.62, as up next, Sapphire Spirals, another gold medalist. What do we have for us? Great start, but have slowed down since. First two already done, third one makes its way. And fourth one also finishes. For a score of 16.93, enough for 5th. As we're ready to go for the final two teams, Sugar Crush up next. Barely behind the league leaders, we want to make a push for it. First one over to the end, second as well. Here comes the third with a very quick pace in the end. Fourth one, can he finish? Yes, he can. And that is a 16.62, and now Sugar Crusher in fifth. As we're ready for the final team, the league leaders, Spices. Three medals in the last three events. First one already finishes, so it's unlikely we're gonna do it again, but here come the rest of the team. Three of them already done, fourth one slowly makes his way. Oh, but he won't make it all the way, so that is a DNF, and a 21.24, giving them 10th, but on the podium. It's Zooming Zebras, Laser Beams, and Executioners who get the medals today. But how does this shake up the standings? Sugar Crush taking the lead now with 64 points. Wolves in last have to make a recovery. Maybe in the next event. That's been archery. We hope to see you then. And until then, don't forget to keep on rolling.